Imagine being Young Thug in May of 2022. One minute you're busy doing whatever it is Atlanta rappers do, and the next minute you're getting arrested and having your home searched by the police. Monday night as police arrested the rapper Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. Why was this happening to Young Thug? The Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, also known as the RICO Act, allows the prosecution of individuals affiliated with a gang that's involved in illegal businesses, dealings, and crime. In the case of Young Thug, he's the alleged co-founder and leader of a gang called YSL. But the truth is that in the rap game, so many MCs have one affiliation or another with gangs. So in this video, I'll talk about 10 rappers that got RICO charges coming based on their alleged gang affiliation affiliations. Polo G Taurus Tremonti Bartlett, professionally known as Polo G, is a 24-year-old American rapper that got famous off his single Finer Things. His songs resonate with many as associated lyrics are telltale of touchy societal subjects like racism and mental health. Despite authoring numerous inspirational songs since venturing into the limelight in 2019, Polo G has a questionable character and a storied criminal history. On the 12th of August 2019, Polo G created a social media stir by posting photos of himself in an emergency ward. After a night, he says, got a little too lit. At first, he didn't give details about what led to the incident. The Chicago-based rapper confirmed via Instagram that he overdosed on Onum pills just before shooting the record-breaking video. This scary incident alongside the fact he just had a son made him quit Xanax and ecstasy. On the 11th of June, 2021, Polo G alongside his 16-year-old brother were arrested by officers attached to the Miami Police Department upon leaving the rapper's Hall of Fame album release party. According to the police, Bartlett and others were pulled over in downtown Miami due to the vehicle's blacked out windows. After asking everyone to exit the car for a thorough search, Bartlett refused and engaged in a scuffle with the officers on ground. Another police-related document categorically states that he struck an officer trying to handcuff him multiple times. These events resulted in five charges against Bartlett, including threatening a public servant, battery of an officer, resisting arrest, criminal mischief, and resisting an officer without violence. On the 15th of November 2021, TMZ reported that prosecutors had dropped two felony charges threatening a public servant and battery of a police officer, and a criminal mischief misdemeanor charge against Bartlett. And on the 9th of April 2022, the pending misdemeanor charges against Polo G for resisting a police officer were dismissed after the rapper committed and successfully completed a six-hour anger management course. Polo G is said to be a member of the 1,300 Sedville Tim Tim gang set. In fact, he asserts his membership via mouthing these words on his Funk Flex freestyle. 1,300 raised me. If you ain't gang, then I can't rock with you. Tim Tim every August 12th, we turn on that block for you. That said, it's pertinent to note that 1,300 Sedville Tim Tim gang represent the Vice Lords, VL, and Mikey Cobras, ML. You can deduce that Polo G is in bed with both gangs with these lyrics from Check Me Out. I hang with the Lords and the Snakes, but we something like gorillas and apes. From that block where we drop in the rakes, throw them up, you get shot in the face. Members of the Vice Lords are known for drug trafficking, weapon smuggling, drive-by shootings, robbery, and murder. Although the Mikey Cobras have earned a reputation for being organized and subtle in their activities, they still execute gang-themed endeavors like robbery, extortion, and homicide. Polo G's affiliation with both sects could result in RICO Act violations that'll lead to lengthy sentences. Lil Baby Dominique Armani Jones, also known as Lil Baby, is an American rapper that has made waves in the global music industry for his melodic blend of rap and trap. He's known for hits like Drip Too Hard, Pure Cocaine, Wants and Needs, and Low Down. Besides his star-studded status, Lil Baby doesn't have an impeccable record when it comes to upholding the law. Growing up in Atlanta, Jones got himself entangled in the web of criminality at an early age. In 2012, Jones was charged for several offenses, notably possession with an intent to sell. And just a year after, he was charged for possessing marijuana. Like clockwork, oh, not again. He received another charge for possession of marijuana with an intent to sell the following year, but this time he was incarcerated for two years. After serving time, he explored his rapping gifts and released Perfect Timing in 2017, a mixtape featuring Young Thug, Gunna, and Lil Yathi. This track got Jones mainstream reverence, and while you might think that Jones would turn a new leaf given his newly found fame, it wasn't too long, two years if I'm being exact, before his old habits caught up with him. In February 2019, Lil Baby was arrested in Atlanta. According to Georgia State Patrol, the rap was stopped for not using a turn signal, recklessly driving in a pedestrian-filled area, and attempting to evade the authorities. After being pulled over, he was directed by officers to leave his vehicle and lie face down before they handcuffed him. However, he was released on bond moments after the arrest. Well, it seemed that Lil Baby just couldn't catch a break as he made headlines negatively, I must add, two years later. In July 2021, while Lil Baby had been attending Paris Fashion Week activities alongside NBA superstar James Harden, he was arrested for transporting drugs. Although 
Harden was questioned and not detained, he and Lil Baby were released moments after. But as confirmed by the Paris prosecutor's office, the Atlanta-born rapper was fined for being in possession of 32 grams of cannabis. Lil Baby has been rumored to roll with the rolling 60s neighborhood Crips. This Los Angeles-based gang is notorious for racketeering, arms trafficking, drug trafficking, and murder. Besides this gang affiliation, Lil Baby's ties with Young Thug and YSL might nail him to a RICO charge. And with DJ Academics threatening that he'll spill the beans and testify against Lil Baby if he was ever hit with RICO-related charges, the 28-year-old rapper could be neck deep in legal issues real soon. But in the sea of RICO-themed threats and allegations, Lil Baby maintains that he's innocent and only God can judge him. Innocent until proven guilty, eh? Fredo Bang Frederick Devin Thomas Givens II, popularly known as Fredo Bang, is a star-studded American rapper with roots in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Givens has been hailed for tracks like Ooh, a song that has surpassed 50 million streams on Spotify, and Top, featuring Lil Durk. But life hasn't been rosy for Givens. He lost two childhood friends, rappers The Real G Money and Crazy Trey, within two and a half years to homicide. But instead of their deaths taking the wind out of his sails, he used it as motivation to attain heights his friends never could. And guess what? He's gotten the limelight, but there have been some impediments along the way. In November 2015, Fredo Bang was in a heated argument with someone at an apartment complex in Baton Rouge, but it quickly escalated when his accomplice pulled out a gun. Sensing things were about to go sour, the rapper rushed to his car to retrieve a gun. Both individuals shot at the victim and fled the scene. However, he wasn't caught until January of the following year, where investigators linked him to the shootout. Afterwards, Fredo Bang was arrested and taken to East Baton Rouge Parish Prison, where he was charged with several criminal offenses, including attempted second-degree murder, legal weapon use, and aggravated criminal damage to a property. Although he was set to get prison time in excess of 40 years, taking a plea deal earned him a two-year jail sentence instead. He was released in 2018 and was let off parole in 2023. I just said Fredo Bang got off parole in 2023, right? Well, it wasn't that straightforward. In July 2021, the Top Boy Gorilla Gang rapper was arrested in Miami just before his Rolling Loud Miami performance. Upon his arrest, he was detained at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. Fredo Bang was released almost four months later. Later. Since his early rap days, Fredo Bang has been part of a gang called Top Boy Gorilla, TBG, and he doesn't hide his connection with the set. According to an interview with the Breakfast Club Power 105.1 FM, the rapper affirms that the TBG gang paid the $70,000 bond attached to his attempted second-degree murder charge before he was subsequently imprisoned. After the murder of his bosom friend, Dariel G. Money, Fredo Bang resolved that he wasn't going to treat his death with kid glove. Now, I'm not a soothsayer, but when a rapper claims that a situation stemming from this homie's death is going to be handled. The translation usually revolves around shootings around the enemy camp. And as predicted, this sparked a feud between the TBG and NBA Never Broke Again gangs that has ultimately led to deadly altercations. With these gangs at loggerheads and Fredo Bang subtly confirming his TBG affiliations via interviews, a RICO charge might come knocking at the door when he least expects it. Moneybag Yo Demario Dwayne White Jr., popularly known by his stage name Moneybag Yo, is a Memphis-born rapper with high-ranking mixtapes like 2, Heartless, and Federal 3X. Although he's one of the leading voices in contemporary hip-hop, Moneybag says that he had a turbulent childhood as the child of a single mother simultaneously acting the role of both parents. From an early age, the rapper hustled, resorting to selling drugs at one point to provide for his family. Unfortunately, his efforts proved futile, and just when he thought of quitting life altogether, he found hope in music. Now, an established name in the rap scene, Moneybag Yo's career hasn't been without its controversies. In March 2016, Moneybag Yo was arrested at his own CD release party for drug and gun-related charges. According to the Memphis Police Department, they'd arrested 28 individuals, Moneybag inclusive, due to the discovery of 10 loaded guns, cash, and drugs at the event held in Tennessee-based Maserati Club on Highway 70. Arrested individuals had affiliations with major gangs like the Vice Lords, Bloods and Crips, and Gangster Disciples. But that's not all. Officers also identified undocumented immigrants at the concert. And while Moneybag Yo had all charges stacked up against him dropped, his 2016 CD release party will go down as one earmarked with a kaleidoscope of illegality. In September 2020, Moneybag and his girlfriend Ariana Fletcher were together in Las Vegas to celebrate his 29th birthday. While they sat in the Maybach gifted to him by his girlfriend, shots rang out. Although Ariana's friend sustained a minor graze, Moneybag maintained that he wasn't targeted in the shooting. Disappointingly, no one was charged for these crimes. And while the incident attracted unwanted legal attention to Moneybag, he wasn't charged. That said, Moneybag U has been involved with turbulent feuds with other rappers. However, the most intense
intense was with Stupid Duke, a beef that started violently at a Memphis nightclub. During the heydays of this dispute, both rappers traded diss tracks like no man's business, but the rivalry died down after Stupid Duke was released from prison in April 2021. Since then, no diss track or online hack has been released to rehatch the seemingly buried beef. Moneybag Yo also had beef with Young Dolph, a Chicago-born rapper who shot and killed Young Dolph in his own hometown that was assassinated in 2021. Although rumors have it that Moneybag had a hand in his death, this assertion was debunked for lack of cogent evidence. That said, Moneybag Yo moved from Memphis, Tennessee to Atlanta, Georgia in 2022. Although he stated career focus and family as primary reasons for his relocation, I suspect the death threats made against him alongside the murder of his friend Big Nusky were determining factors. How about his gang affiliations? Although Moneybag Yo has managed to stay under the radar for gang-related activities, he said to have had ties with the young mob gang and with the group tagged an armed drug trafficking organization by the United States Attorney's Office. There's a chance that a can of worms relating to Moneybag Yo's past dealings with this gang could prompt a RICO violation charge in the future. The baby. There are numerous American rappers with the baby tag. However, when it comes to those waxing strong in the spotlight, the baby, whose actual name is Jonathan Lindale Kirk, leads the pack. The 31-year-old rapper came into the music scene in 2014 and attracted a global following with hits such as Suga and Goin' Baby. Although his career has been all bells and whistles, the baby is no saint. On the 5th of November, 2018, the baby shot and killed 19-year-old Jalen Craig at a Walmart outlet located in Charlotte, North Carolina. However, the rapper defended himself, stating that he was shopping with his family when an unknown individual wielding a gun accosted him. The baby further added that if he hadn't acted in self-defense and shot the victim, his kids would have been casualties. According to TMZ, the baby was charged with and subsequently found guilty for carrying a concealed weapon. This charge got him sentenced to a year of unsupervised probation and 30-day jail term, but his jail term was subsequently dismissed. Although an incriminating video negating his self-defense remarks claims was released in 2022, the baby wasn't charged with any crime. As the footage started- circulated online, dramatically changing the perception of the almost four-year-old incident. The baby took the social media late Sunday to address the matter. The baby also came under scrutiny again in January 2020. During this timeline, the rapper was arrested in Miami for attacking a show promoter, Kenneth Carey, over a payment dispute. Per TMZ, the rapper and his crew members beat the promoter for paying just $20,000 out of the agreed $30,000. Reports further allege that DaBaby relieved Carey of his credit card, $1.80 cash, and an iPhone 7 during the brawl. Although the artist spent two days at the Miami-Dade County Jail for this incident, he was let go and subsequently received a battery charge for his role in the fight. Although Kerry sued DaBaby for $6 million on charges relating to battery, defamation, and breach of contract in 2022, the jury ruled in the rapper's favor after a five-day trial. Just two months after the show promoter beatdown, DaBaby earned negative press once more for slapping a lady at his Tampa concert. After being booed off the stage and not headlining any performance, the rapper took to Instagram to deliver a heartfelt apology, stating, that he mistook the lady for a guy as she pointed a bright light too close to his face. In January 2021, the baby was arrested in Beverly Hills, California for possessing a concealed weapon and carrying a loaded gun within his vehicle. According to Beverly Hills police, the rockstar rapper and some men walked into a store at Rodeo Drive. Then, store security contacted the police after sighting a gun strapped to a man's waistband. Upon arrival, the police detained the men at the scene. However, the baby was arrested and jailed. He was later released after posting a bond worth $35,000. Day baby has been rumored to be in a gang after a video of him throwing a blood gang flag to the ground circulated all over the internet. However, he maintains that although he isn't affiliated with any gang, he has loved ones who are gang members. Baby don't gang bang. Baby do not gang bang. Baby ain't blood. Baby ain't crib. Baby ain't GD. Baby ain't none of that. Baby don't got no problem with no bloods. For all the real bloods too. Worldwide. And if we're to follow the evil communication corrupts good manners mantra, the illegal activities executed by his gang homies might spiral down to him, resulting in a RICO violation. NBA Young Boy. Central Deshaun Golden, popularly tagged NBA Youngboy or Youngboy Never Broke Again, is a gifted and influential rapper. His journey to stardom started at just 14, when he started recording and releasing his songs as an independent artist. In 2017, his persistence paid off, and he was signed to Atlantic Records. NBA Youngboy has released numerous bangers in his time as an American rapper, with notable mentions including Outside Today, Untouchable, Casey Talk, and 38 Baby. But despite having a career that remains a dream for many upcoming Baton Rouge rappers, NBA Youngboy 
Boy has encountered numerous legal issues on his way to the top. In November 2016, when NBA Young Boy was only 17, he was arrested in Austin, Texas by U.S. Marshals for his connections with a non-fatal shooting in the Baton Rouge area. Although details concerning his arrest weren't released immediately, it was later revealed that he'd been extradited to and detained at Baton Rouge Parish Prison, where he was charged with two separate counts of attempted murder. However, NBA Young Boy was released in May 2017 after he'd plead guilty to a lesser charge, aggravated assault with a firearm, and posted a post-conviction bail valued at $50,000. Three months later, he received a suspended 10-year jail term and three-year probation. Sentence. On the 28th of September 2020, the Street Crimes Division of the Baton Rouge Police alongside the FBI got a tip from an anonymous source confirming certain individuals were brandishing guns at an abandoned lot. When the police arrived, the scene, 16 individuals, NBA Youngboy included, were arrested. The rapper was charged with possession of stolen firearms and drug manufacturing and distribution. As such, the rapper was placed on house arrest. Although his lawyers managed to stop the case in its tracks by winning a pre-trial motion to remove picture and photo evidence in March 2022, an appeal court overturned this decision in 2023. If found guilty, Youngboy faces up to 10 years in jail. But Youngboy never broke again's legal travails don't end here. In March 2021, the rapper was arrested by the FBI for fleeing from LAPD officers after an attempted traffic stop made in relation to a pending federal warrant revolving around his September 2020 arrest in Baton Rouge. After a short pursuit and search involving a K-9 as the MC had allegedly ditched his car and sought to escape by foot, he was caught and booked on firearm possession charges. Nonetheless, he was released seven months later after a Louisiana judge offered him a $1.5 million bond with stringent rules, including house arrest, a ban on drugs and guns, and a compulsory drug test. But his firearm possession trial dragged on till July 2022, where he was declared not guilty due to insufficient evidence. NBA Youngboy owns a gang called 4K Trey that rep green and red flags. And with 4KT involved in beefs and shootouts with rival gangs like TBG, Top Boy, and BBG, Bad Boys Gang, it's only a matter of time before NBA Youngboy gets incarcerated for a RICO-themed crime. That's if his pending charges don't catch up with his first. Blueface. Jonathan Jamal Peter, who is professionally known as Blueface, became a sensation after releasing the video to his offbeat release titled Respect My Crippin'. Some folks even said that it seemed like he was racing against the beat. But hey, fame is sometimes found in the most unlikely of places. Just one month after the video hit the internet and made waves, he was signed to Cash Money West, the western division of Birdman's Cash Money Records. In 2018, Blueface released a song titled Thotiana. Although he still practiced social distancing with the beats, it ranked as the most successful of his career, peaking at an all time high of 8th on the Billboard Top 100. Despite sporting meme-worthy appearances and acts, Blueface has had serious legal issues. In November 2018, the rapper was arrested in California for shooting an occupied vehicle after firing at a gas station robber. He was released on bail two days after this incident. Blueface was also arrested in February 2019 for being in possession of a loaded and unregistered handgun. On the 15th of November 2022, Blueface was arrested in Las Vegas, Nevada on charges connected to a shooting that occurred the previous month. According to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, he was jailed at the Clark County Detention Center on warrants stemming from attempted murder with a deadly weapon and discharging a firearm at an occupied building. Coincidentally, while Blueface was at the courthouse for these charges on the 7th of June, 2023, he was arrested for a separate robbery charge. Poor Blueface, you just can't catch a break, can you? But with this charge featuring a $20,000 bail, Blueface paid and didn't spend any time in jail. Trial for Blueface's firearm and robbery charges are still ongoing. Blueface doesn't hide his ties with the Crips. Little wonder his breakout song was titled Respect My Crippin'. The rapper also claims that the affiliations with the gang go back to when he was 18 years old, as he wanted to tow the path of his imprisoned elder brother. According to a Vibe interview with Blueface, the Thotiana author said, I always wanted to be like him. He was already full-fledged into it. So who are the Crips? They're an alliance of street gangs across Southern California's coastal regions, fragmented into sets that engage in wars against each other. The Crips have an estimated member count of 35,000 to 40,000. Crips are known for their involvements in numerous illegal activities, including theft, drug trafficking, murder, and extortion. That said, some Crips members have been charged with racketeering violations, and with Blueface not making his membership of this sect subtle, he might find himself in the gnarly web of a RICO charge. Lil Durk 
Dirk Derrick Banks, also known as Lil Dirk, is one of the most famous rappers to ever hail from Southside Chicago. Lil Dirk tasted fame after releasing the Sign to the Street mixtape that paved the way for a contract at Def Jam Recordings, a label that gave him the platform to author stellar album releases like Remember My Name 2015 and Lil Dirk 2X 2016. Although he amicably ended his dealings with Def Jam back in 2018, fate has opposed favorably on the rapper and he has gone on to establish a record label called only the family, OTF. And while he has earned three Grammy nominations in his career, he's been plagued by certain legal problems. In October 2011, Lil Durk was hit with gun possession charges and received a three-month prison term. Although he was initially let go on bail after serving the sentence, he was hailed back to jail to spend an extra 13 days. On the 5th of June 2013, Lil Durk was arrested in Chicago after throwing a loaded 40 caliber handgun into his vehicle as police officers approached. He received the unlawful use of a weapon by a felon charge for the incident. Although Bond was set at $100,000, the rapper evaded jail time as a witness claimed ownership of the gun. In May 2019, Dirk was arrested alongside King Vaughn by the Fulton County Police on several felony charges, including aggravated assault, criminal attempt to commit murder, possession of firearms during the commission of a felony, participation in criminal street gang activity, and possession of firearm by a convicted felon. Prosecutors claimed Dirk and late King Vaughn were involved in an Atlanta shootout that occurred in February of the same year. Although Dirk and Vaughn spent several weeks in jail, they were released after fulfilling bond payments of $250,000 and $300,000 respectively. However, in October 2022, all charges against Lil Durk were dismissed due to prosecutorial discretion. Lil Durk has also been subject to controversies. According to an interview with Academics, the OTF owner explains that the bad blood can be traced back to the death of King Vaughn, who was murdered by an NBA artist, Quando Rondo, after a fight broke out between both crews. In the interview, he mocked Youngboy for assuming responsibility for Vaughn's death despite being absent from the scene and seriously questioned his street cred. Academic's session with Lil Durk was hosted in 2023, meaning the beef still rages on. Lil Durk is part of the Black Disciples gang. Originally formed in 1958, the Black Disciples have come a long way and currently rank as one of the biggest U.S. state gangs. With the sect linked to crimes like arms trafficking, kidnapping, money laundering, robbery, racketeering, and illegal gambling, Lil Durk's affiliation with the Black Disciples might get him arrested on a RICO charge that'll stick and earn him years behind bars. Bobby Shmurda. Aquil Jean Pollard, whose stage name is Bobby Shmurda, is a well-known American rapper and songwriter. The artist ascended to the stables of global prominence in 2014 after releasing his debut single Hot a song that reached a peak position of six on the Billboard Hot 100. This success got him a record deal at Sony Music's Epic Record. Although Bobby Shmurda's fame would have transcended the skies into the Milky Way, frequent run-ins with the law impeded his progress. On the 3rd of July, 2014, Bobby Shmurda was arrested and charged with criminal possession of a weapon. His arrest came after police claimed to have seen him holding a handgun in an apartment before desperately attempting to conceal it in a sofa. Days after his arrest, he was released after settling a $10,000 bail. In December of the same year, Bobby Shmurda was arrested alongside 14 others near Times Square as part of an ongoing investigation seeking inroads into drug trafficking, shootings, and street violence across Brooklyn. Shmurda was specifically charged with drug and gun possession, conspiracy to attempt murder, and reckless endangerment. The rapper pleaded guilty to one count of weapon possession and third-degree conspiracy in September 2016. This plea earned him a seven-year jail sentence and another five-year probation sentence. However, he was given a jail credit of two years, resulting in a five-year jail term instead. Initially, the rapper was incarcerated at Rikers Island. However, he was transferred to New York's Clinton Correctional Facility in 2017. Bobby Shmurda Way granted conditional release on the 23rd of February 2021 and is currently serving a probationary sentence that'll end on the 23rd of February 2026. Bobby Shmurda is a member of the GS9, also known as G-Stone Crips. The GS9 is a street gang based in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. During the gang's heydays, 2013 to 2014, they were linked to murder, assault, weapons possession, narcotics possession, and other crimes that guaranteed the protection of their territory. They're also known to shoot the members of rival gangs, notably the outlaw gangster Crips, Folk Nation, and Brooklyn's most finest. The GS9 uses unique code words to converse. Tone and socks represent firearms, while krills and suntan refer to narcotics and shootings, respectively. It's pertinent to note that Bobby Shmurda's affiliation with this gang was why he was arrested in 2014, alongside 14 individuals who were also GS9 members. According to the police, Bobby Shmurda was the driving force behind the group's illegal dealings. And although it might seem that the gang is somewhat hushed at the moment, past crimes might result in RICO charges against the rapper.
Rowdy Rebel. Chad Marshall, also called Rowdy Rebel, is known for his energetic bars. Marshall was raised in a neighborhood tagged the 90s, located in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. As a kid, he was nicknamed Rowdy on the streets, representing the roots of his stage name. Although he released his first mixtape, Shmoney Shmurda, in 2014, Marshall featuring in Bobby Shmurda's hot saw him gain recognition. As such, he was signed by Epic Record just months after the label had signed Shmurda. In June 2020, he featured on Late Pop Smoke's Let It Rain, a song that debuted as 51st on the Billboard Hot 100. Although Rowdy Rebel was destined to grow places, I think the rapper didn't reach his peak as he basically mirrored a legal history telltale of Bobby Shmurda. On the 17th of December 2014, Rowdy Rebel was arrested with 14 other members of his gang, the GS9, by the New York Police Department for attempted assault, attempted murder, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. Although Marshall initially maintained a not guilty plea, he later entered a plea deal that resulted in a six to seven year jail term in 2016. But two years were slashed off his sentence due to the timeline he spent awaiting trial. After spending six years behind bars, 2014 to 2020, Marshall was finally released on the 15th of December, 2020. And to celebrate the memorable event, Young Thug gifted him a chain. Inadvertently, Rowdy Rebel now has two gang affiliations. The first was GS9, his original gang. The second is YSL, due to Young Thug's gift. And with YSL currently battling a RICO charge that has indicted frontrunner Young Thug and other gang members, Rowdy Rebel might just be implicated. Although this looks unlikely, the future is pregnant with numerous possibilities that'll see the Brooklyn-born rapper receiving the short end of the stick. There you have it, folks. Which rapper do you think will get hit with a RICO charge first? While you predict, we've got related videos pointing to the clandestine lives of other rappers. Click on the card on your screen.